Okay, so this video is a look at a Muppet car. I've made a few videos about these PVC Muppet figures, copyrighted 1976 and 1977. I love them because they're some of my earliest toys and somehow they've avoided being thrown out, which I'm totally amazed by. As much as I love them, it's been a struggle to find something equally as good to display them in. That is, up until now. I recently came across this Furchester Hotel car, which is from a Sesame Street show of the same name, and features characters such as Elmo and Cookie Monster. But as soon as I saw this car, I thought it would be perfect to display my old Muppet figures in. It's a good chunky car, it's open roofed so they're easy to get in, two at the front and two in the back. The boot opens up to put two cases of luggage in. One pink and one green. One for Miss Piggy and one for Kermit. How perfect is that? But I thought one of the crazier characters could be placed on the open boot so it can fit five figures all together. I've got ten Muppet figures so I've got two of these cars. So here's one completed car with them all firmly stuck into place with a little bit of help from blue tack. And the crazy character riding the open boot has to be Gonzo. It will be Animal in the second car. It's perfect for them as cars featured a lot in the first film of the Muppet movie made in 1979 and the rebooted film in 2011, The Muppets. And as it's meant for Sesame Street characters, which are more or less the same thing as The Muppets, I think I've pretty much nailed how to display them. I'll go away now and fill up that other car. Okay, so that was a look at a Muppet car, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.